Welcome back, people. I know it's been over a week since I made the last video. There have been many things going on, many things I don't even want to talk about. One of those things that I do want to talk about is I got a new computer and I had to set up everything new. So today is the day and I hope I set everything up correctly and everything is working. Peek. All right, all right, I get it. I know I had the settings on my microphone way off. Don't worry, I have it. it. Everything's working. Now, you may have noticed that last week I did not do a review of episode six. That means we're going to just fly by through episode six. You know, my short review on it, a very short review. And then we're going to jump into the new episode, episode seven. There was just so much going on last week that I couldn't deal with it. I had it on for like three minutes. Like, nope, can't do it. Not working out this week. She sees Sith dude on the beach and decides to follow him. More bad CGI ships. Oh, but it gets better. It's not just that part. They are just now leaving the planet. Soul and May are leaving the planet to which the Sith found Osha, took Osha to a whole different planet, bound her wounds, although badly, let her wake up and now they are flying. All this time pass and sniffer it didn't tell Soul that he actually has May on board. And here I thought May was going to turn herself in. Now she wants to kill Soul. So apparently communication isn't working. So Soul goes to reset the transmission. Uh, wouldn't that have been a great time for the sniffer it to tell Soul? I mean, not that he didn't already have so much time beforehand. Remember, folks, fan service for men is bad, but fan service for women? That's good. What happened with the black robes? More bad CGI ships. He is just talking his sweet way into whatever she wants to hear. So droids have a reset button. I wonder why Luke would have had to take his droids to get their memories wiped if it's just pressing a button on the droid. Osha being so easily corrupted. All right, I guess I found the chocolate. Um, literally, I, I, I like the stance. I so Green Bean here gets sick traveling in hyperspace. More bad CGI ships in the background. Soul finally figured it out and taser me L mode. May here. What? Wow. So not only is there zero sense of time, they made it to the outer rim from Coruscant like that it, they just barely missed soul like wh what how does that work make that make sense this whole entire show this episode especially has such time problems it doesn't make sense so apparently green beans padawan believes that soul must have killed all of the jedi there you stupid girl don't put on the sith helmet are you crazy? Well, tickle me senseless. That episode was really, really bad. And I'm not even getting into it too deep just because, you know, it's last week. Everyone and their mother has talked about this show already. I just wanted to give it a quick recap so that we know what's going on in the next episode. And just wow. Unbelievable. The timing issues is probably the biggest thing. and. Yeah, I guess there was that one piece of literal chocolate that I mean, she she doesn't look bad. I can't, you know. 
What can I say? Anyway, on to episode seven that dropped last night. That'll be fun. I'm sure it will be. We didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. We didn't start the fire. No, we didn't light it, but we're trying to fight it. Oops. I'm really sorry about that. I didn't mean to sing. That was horrible. But here we were reminded at the beginning of the episode that it was indeed May who started the fire who burnt her family. I wonder what we're going to learn new about that. So apparently a very, very extreme bad hyperspace accident happened that created a virgin in the force. And that is how they're going to be explaining how a, well, how the twins were cre created through the force. And that it's important and most important to the Jedi. Wow. Bad CGI speeder instead of a ship. Still being a creeper and watching the twins from afar. Yep, still being a total creeper. I mean, do I have to even continue saying it? He's still being a creeper following them. Now he's climbing the mountain free-handed. You keep seeing the lesbian space witches do weird shit. So the Jedi are breaking and entering. Nice. Back in the past, she took control over his body not only that, but also took control over his mind and is haunting him in his mind. So she's like literally trying to twist this Padawan's mind, telling him he's much stronger and he's such a good Jedi and he's trapped here on the planet. And his master just doesn't understand that he needs to go back to Coruscant and she can help him. She can give him what he needs. Yes, he can. Wow, what a twisted mind fuck. Pardon my French. The girls are too old to be trained as Jedi. There you hear it. So he wants Osha to go with them. He wants to train Osha. He believes he has a connection with Osha. You can take a sample of blood through a shirt now. At least this one seems smart and is erring on the side of caution. Let's ask the council what to do instead of just doing whatever. Sounds logical. The Metachlorian count is high. It's extremely high. They are extremely force sensitive. Possibly even more than Anakin Skywalker was. The Chosen One. Uh. Mm, same symbiote, and I guess you can find that out through the blood or whatever. I... Uh, holy crap. This is the proof, the proof of the virgins, because it was the twins are made artificially. So Torben is getting on the speeder like, let's go pick up the twins now. Let's do it. Let's get going. All right, I see. I see. I could play my holy cow video again. The uh, Jesus, like. We all know where this is going. We all know where it's going. We've all known it since the very beginning of the show. I just, oh my God. This is trash. Let's keep going. Other dearest here, um, convinced May to get mad, get upset. Stop Osha from leaving. Because the Jedi will take her away and leave. Interesting. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
So they're starting a rebellion. They're rioting against their leader. May just broke the um the entrance lock or whatever the the pad, and no one can get in or out. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is this is priceless. Priceless. <laughs> Witches harm yourselves. Soul and the Padawan are climbing the mountain to get into the fortress while their Jedi master whatever I don't even know her name. Trinity woman is flying over and like, uh, we have to pick them up. We have to make sure that they don't start a conflict uh, there. At the same time, those two are talking like what happened? Oh, the Jedi there, their guy, they got into the fortress and the, the mother who seems to be more reasonable and isn't inciting violence is like, I told you we can't do this with violence. <sighs> of course, what we haven't seen yet is that May actually tried to put the fire back out. What a surprise. Soul asks, rightfully so, how the twins were created. Where did they come from? I wonder how this is going to turn out to be. So it was a misunderstanding. They thought OSHA came out and asked mama help me and bad mama right here decided all right i'm getting in a fighting stance and padawan is all twitchy like oh my god oh my god i have to do something wow that's how it happened and she turns into dust dust that was surrounding one of the twins and uh I guess because it looked dangerous, Soul pulled out his lightsaber and stabbed her. I was going to let Osha go. It's what she wants. It's what she wants. She just wow. Here. Wow! Through that whole misunderstanding, they are now attacking the Padawan and certainly Soul, who is defending himself. She is screaming, fight me! And Soul just won't pull out his lightsaber. Oh my god. He also turns to dust. This time they took control of the Wookiee. So that explains the scar. More Matrix slow motion. Really? So all those witches died when they lost control of the Wookiee. Well deserved. Well deserved. You see how Soul is holding the bridge that we saw in episode one or whatever it was. He's holding both sides of the bridge, but decides I, I can't do it and concentrates on OSHA so May dies. But, you know. It's understandable. Clearly, she is like, yeah, I told you to not do this. And so it was like, well, I had to make a choice. I wanted to make sure that they were safe. Like, well, they were probably safe. We all know where this has been going the entire time, right? So she's like, we have to tell the council the truth. May started the fire. The witch's cavern burnt to a crisp. And he wants to go tell the council, yeah, it was because of me. And she's like, well, hold on. Do you want to take this girl's dream now, too? She's lost everything. Holy crap. Yeah, I've moved on from holy cow. This is, this is garbage. 
This is even worse than episode six, and I thought that was bad enough that I didn't even need to do a review on. Wow. And we all knew, I'm going to point this out once again, we all knew from the very beginning of this show that it would try to paint the Jedi as the bad guys. That being said, even at that, this show has failed. Just wow. I mean, I can't, I don't even have the words for it. I'm trying to give you an, an authentic review of this episode. Just wow. All right. So the full episode was just about um, the Jedi perspective of the backstory of how everything started. And just the, the Jedi. Sure, they made mistakes. But at the end of the day, the Jedi aren't the bad guys in this episode. I know the episode is trying to paint them as being the bad guys. I know the showrunner is trying to paint the Jedi as the bad guys. But as it turns out, not really the bad guys. Yeah, maybe iffy here and there on a few things. The Padawan clearly goes off and starts stuff that he shouldn't. But he's a Padawan. His master should actually be the one to be able to hold him back. Like, dude, no. But... At the end of the day, he did not start the fight. He started things into motion, but he didn't start the fight. I... I have no words for this. This was utter garbage. Trash! And not the good kind of trash that you get in anime with the big opi! And the cat girls. This was bad. Like in every episode, I even found the smallest piece of chocolate in the last episode. At least you had a nice figure. But this episode, it had nothing. Absolutely zero. This was bad. I am so glad that next week, it's over with. We have one more episode to go, and then it's over with. Wow. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching my video, me suffer through this garbage. I do it for you. It's fun at the end of the day, even though that I'm, uh, you know, it is what it is. Thank you for stopping by. If you like this video, smash that like button. If you didn't like what I said, give me a thumbs down. That works as well. Comment down below your thoughts about the episode. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. Until next time, take care. Torben did nothing wrong. Sol did nothing wrong. The Jedi didn't do anything wrong. It was the witches. Just wanted to make that clear. <laughs>